welcome to next uh, edition of our isolation platform. Today, uh, Ruka Kuahata and Max Porter with us, filmmakers of uh, Negative Space. Negative Space was one of the most successful films in previous years. Uh, it got like more than 55 awards, right? And more than 160 screenings at festivals. Uh, including an Oscar animation that the baby is here. Yeah. <laughs> Which is okay, that was just like a one cry and then... One, one like warning cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was her saying, you have 10 minutes, mommy. <laughs> yeah. So all these awards, uh, what did change in your professional life? Because you were doing animation before, you were doing commercials, uh, music videos, also personal works. So we had made a, a few short films already before Negative Space. The first one that we made together was in 2010, and then we made one in 2014 and 2015. So Negative Space was our fourth short film. And it was by far the most successful of the, um, externally successful of the, the, the group of films that we made. Um, but really what it cemented was sort of our commitment and excitement about continuing to make projects that meant something deeply to us. Um, I think that was the, the real pleasure and privilege of that film was knowing that um, it, it did connect with audiences and hearing other people's personal connections to the films. Um, so when we finished it, we, we, we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do next. And um, I think um, for us, it was just, we, we wanted to expand our palette and do something with a longer form. So. Um, okay. Since 2017, we've been developing a few uh, feature length animations. Um, still, a few. a few, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't plan to develop a few, but it just happened that way. It just happened that way. Uh, at different stages, some are uh, farther along in their development, farther along. Um, I think also while we're in production, we never think about what it will be afterwards, like how we'll do in festivals or which festival we'll get in. We, we tried to block it off to focus on the production and to do the best we could do. But um, with Negative Space, it, it did get a lot of awards and recognition and it did help us to get recognition for the next step. Like we've gotten into a lot of workshops and labs and stuff. And I think without all of the recognition from Negative Space, we wouldn't have been able to transition to those stuff. So it, it was not, not so planned, but organically, it did help. One of these awards was an Oscar nomination. Did, did that something change? You went to the ceremony, I guess. So did this brought uh, new, uh, how do you say, commission work, new customers or like? Yeah, I think once again, it did help transition into the longer format. Like we got a, a fiction agent and, um, you know, when you say like, oh, we're Oscar nominated, it, it did help to connect to other people or to make contacts or make meetings and stuff. So um, I think we, it, it, the Oscar nomination definitely helped more than we realized. And I think it also reached a, a different audience mm -hmm. than sort of the film festival um, animation niche audience. Um, so I think that that was also a pretty special uh, opportunity for us to, to hear someone who doesn't know much about animation or more like artistic animation to hear their reactions to the film. How, did you have a good time there? What, what was your experience as an independent animator in this world? It was so different because usually you know, we make a film, we go to festivals and it's fun. You know, we get to see other animators. Uh, friends from a long time ago and then we just go to war ceremony and sometimes not and <laughs> if we get something lucky us that was the mentality of just going to festival for fun and Oscar was completely different because it was so much campaigning leading up to it that we had to almost like switch our minds like this is a completely different attitude um, and go through interviews and um, it was just so different that at times it was stressful but once we got to the ceremony it was quite fun there was also uh, um the like japanese media is pretty intense so yeah, 
the uh, sort of pressure and the interviews that Rue was getting was much different than my of uh, my experiences with the with the Oscar nomination. There was one <laughs> time in Japan where um, they put her face on the screen and it said Rue Kuwahata, Oscar nominated director, and then underneath my face it said husband. <laughs> awesome. Well, <laughs> well, you are working together, right? Yeah. Uh, so. Um, what are the advantages or disadvantages of working together with your <laughs> with your partner? Um, when we start the project, it's usually more of a conversation we develop together. You know, we constantly talk, we draw together. So it's it's hard to determine who did what part because we it is a very collaborative, conversational um, process. And then once we go into more production, then we have our specialty. Uh, Max is more into cinematography, and I'm more into making things like crafting things in the fabrication department. So but then we, we kind of go back and forth quite a lot anyway. So it's it's hard to say who does what. Um, but uh, advantages that we're in it together all the time, like we share the ups and downs, and he understands me more than myself and vice versa i think um <laughs> this advantage is that it's the same thing like we're in it together all the time <laughs> that there is no separation of like work and life like we're just mm. in it all the time um so i think it's it's both advantage and disadvantage but uh i can't i can't imagine any other life at this point <laughs> Yeah, we, we've gotten questions where pe um, people have asked, like, what working together has done for our romance, or what had, and Rue yeah. always says, like, there's nothing more romantic than making mm -hmm. a film together. Um, and to, to share every, to share that. every process. Then pants, waist to hem, nooks and crannies for socks. So you are you were mixing techniques before from 3D to stop motion, uh, negative space is a puppet animation. Is there a particular reason or? Yeah, so um, we, we had always wanted to do like a full stop motion short film. Um, we were limited by resources. By we lived in Brooklyn for a while, so our apartment was really small. Um, stop motion requires a lot of materials and space and equipment, so it was a little bit more expensive than some of the mixed media processes and no funding and there was very little funding in the United States um, but with the story negative space that there, there was something so direct and human and honest about it that we felt it had to be just one process it had to be something that you could like really feel the textures on the screen um, that you could feel the hand of the people who made it um, and we thought that stop motion was the right form for that because you can really um, sort of understand the process even if you don't really know animation um, like everything about animation you understand how it was made you understand texture you understand yeah. that feeling so you you mentioned that in america you don't have a, a funding so i guess that's how you finance your free work like doing commercials and going back and forth from commercial to personal yeah. and yeah it's a mix of doing commercials um teaching and then just putting that resource into the film and then also rely on european funding so we we travel or move for a short period quite a lot so it's just like a mix of everything we can do and you too how did you uh, came to animation what was the moment when you saw something some film or uh, something and then you thought like Oh, this is what I want to do. Um, so I've always liked making puppets, like sewing and making clothes. And I've also liked um, comic and because I, I, I'm born and raised in Japan. So reading manga was my daily routine. So once I got to art school and I realized that the two worlds of like storytelling and crafting could come together in animation, it just seemed like a perfect match for me. So um, it's really, I was introduced in art school and then since then I'm, I'm still in it. I, I came to animation through photography actually. Um, 
I, I went to school, art school, thinking that I was going to be a still photographer. Um, and then I tr transitioned into live action um, uh, directing. And then I had a, a, like a difficult time working with crews and working with uh, actors. So um, animation was sort of like a natural way for me to include different, um, different passions without having to work with uh, actors. Um, so that was like the initial um, uh, you know, reason I went into animation, just because I wanted to tell those stories and work in a medium, like almost a greedy medium where I could use different like photography and fabrication and drawing and bring it all together into one place. All in one. If you want to say something else to, if you want to present or, or introduce the film to the audience, what, what, are, uh, what are they going to see? So you're going to be seeing a film called Negative Space, um, which is based on a 150 word short story by um, an author named Ron Korchi. Um, uh, Rue and I directed it and we worked with a production company in France. Uh, it was finished in 2017. Um, and it presents the relationship between a father and his son, or a son and his father, told through the art of packing a suitcase. Um, and um, we, we hope you enjoy it. We hope you find some meaning in it. Um, and uh, just uh, thank you for watching. Okay, thank you for the interview. Or you want to add something? Yeah. One, <laughs> One two, three. Zinatri Zagreb. Zagreb. Yeah, maybe you can try to show Z, Z with your hands or something. Z. <laughs> Everything's flipped. That's it. Thank you. Okay, I hope, I hope uh, next time, I, I know you wanted to come to the festival when your film was playing, but uh, you couldn't. Uh, so next time maybe so let's see we really hope so yeah we, we'd love to heard about zagreb as a festival for many many years and it's the top of our list of festivals to go to and so. she'll be old enough to travel too yeah 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 sometimes people come with babies so yeah, yeah we'll do that <laughs> okay. well, thank you for having us yeah, thank you so much